Get ready because it's time to channel your inner project manager and transform your compact kitchen into a space-saving, efficiency-boosting wonderland. From floating countertops to foldable extensions, Simpomp will guide you to a world of possibilities to explore. Dive into our treasure trove of the following 20 project management tips because each one of the next ingredients will help you master the art of small kitchen organization. All right, let's roll. Number 20, the Scatis Panel Hack Idea. This hack is a game changer when it comes to maximizing your storage space. And that's not all. The small cabinet under your pots and pans at the back is a lifesaver when organizing your spices and other small items. Plus, the vanity panel on the sideboard keeps your space clutter free. This is ideal if you own an odd galley space with a 9-foot ceiling to its fullest potential, but wait, there are also cons to consider. While necessary for cleanliness, the range hood with filters can become a sticky mess if not maintained. Although regularly sponging walls and ceilings after a deep fry session will solve the problem, it might also make you feel more like a janitor than a home chef. So what are the alternatives? Number 19, a DIY magnetic spice rack from Wanda Simone. Fun fact, it's not just for spices, and remember these magnets might attract more than just your kitchen tools if you've got kids with fridge magnet art in the house. According to Wanda, epoxy glue and two magnets per tin were the winning combinations for heavier spices, ensuring they stay organized. It works better than peel and stick magnets, regular magnets, and liquid nails. Number 18, the Instagrammable Pegboard Wall Idea from The Concept Store. First, you'll need a pegboard and hooks, easily found at any home improvement store, estimated cost $50. Attach the pegboard to your wall, then arrange hooks to hang pots, pans, utensils, you name it. Number 17, the Hanging Pot Rack from Iron Pipe. A hanging pot rack can turn your pots and pans into a piece of art. Yes, it can be a struggle to find the right spot that doesn't risk a pot-induced concussion, but the result can be worth it and should be best if combined with the following idea. Number 16, the disappearing kitchen. You'll feel like a culinary Houdini whenever you make your kitchen vanish in this Greenwich Village apartment. With the swish and flick of some door panels, your kitchen blends into the background, leaving you with a room that's as open and more usable without the constant reminder of those dirty dishes you've been meaning to tackle. But hold on, there's a pinch of cons we need to whisk in. Integrating several door panels around the kitchen requires planning and complicated installation. In our author's case, 15 feet tall, you might feel that you're scaling Mount Everest while trying to reach the top. Alternatively, number 15, the Murphy Kitchen Idea. This concept first gained popularity in the 1920s when space-saving innovations like the Murphy Bed were all the rage. Named after its inventor, William L. Murphy, the Murphy Kitchen features foldable countertops and cabinetry, allowing you to tuck away your kitchen when it's not in use. Who said history couldn't be trendy? Number 14, The Transforming Kitchen Inspired by the art of origami, this idea revolves around the thought-provoking process of folding and unfolding. It offers a flexible solution with modular units and convertible furniture pieces that can be arranged to accommodate your needs. Imagine the possibilities. Number 13, the modular kitchen idea. It was invented to cater to modern urban homes, ever-changing lifestyles, and space challenges. It commonly consists of pre-made cabinets and components that can be mixed and matched, making it a versatile option that's easy to update, reconfigure, or relocate. Number 12, a DIY floating microwave idea. With this high-tech appliance at your fingertips, you'll feel like a gourmet chef. All you need to do is add a board to hold up the top of the microwave. Using screws through the cupboards on either side, you can secure your gear in mid-air. However, like a stubborn jar lid, there are some cons to wrestle with. The installation requires some handiwork. Not all of us are as handy and well-equipped as Bob Vila. As mentioned, you'll need to attach a board to support the microwave, which means drilling into your precious cupboard it's a bit like performing surgery on your favorite teddy bear. Now, let's stir in some alternative ideas. Number 11, 
the microwave shelf. It's like your microwave is sunbathing on its own private beach. Just remember, your microwave might need a little umbrella, aka a well-ventilated spot, to avoid overheating. Number 10, a built-in microwave idea by Joe and Cheryl. Here, you will integrate the microwave into your kitchen cabinetry. The key material here is a trim kit, which ensures your microwave fits snugly and looks built in. Yet, finding the perfect trim kit might be like finding a needle in a haystack. Number 9. A DIY Microwave Drawer this idea is to install a microwave drawer that slides out just like a regular drawer. One thing, ensure the drawer is installed at a height that avoids accidental spills and is safe for kids. Mitigate this by choosing an appropriate height and locking mechanism. Number 8. The DIY Wall Treatment Idea like having a custom tailored suit for your wall, this idea lets you flex your DIY muscles and tailor your storage to your specific needs. Tip, use a level to scribe a centered line on the back of the paneling with a pencil behind the shelves. This ensures accurate nailing and prevents missing the shelving boards. But like a souffle, this DIY idea can deflate with a few cons. It requires a fair bit of handyman know-how from accurate measurements to understanding how to securely fasten shelves. It's like trying to bake without a recipe. Fun, but potentially messy. Alternatively, number seven, the pegboard wall idea from wire cutter. This is like playing Connect 4 with your storage, but be warned the limitations are that it's not ideal for storing heavy items and drilling too many holes can weaken the board, making it sag like a poorly whisked meringue. The floating shelf idea from Jesse O'Welling. You'll need sturdy brackets and a keen eye for level placement. And remember, don't overload the shelves or they might take a nosedive, spilling your precious knickknacks like a clumsy waiter at a fancy restaurant. Number 5. The Magnetic Wall Algot Hack Idea IKEA's Algot metal shelves come in a variety of sizes, and with a little creativity, you can turn any wall into a magnetic masterpiece. First, measure the area you'll want to cover, pick out the perfect shelf sizes, and create a plan. Then, simply secure the shelves to the wall with screws in the cornermost holes. One thing, you don't want your awesome creation crashing down on you, so take note of this crucial detail. Ensure that your wall can handle both the weight of the magnetic surface and the items you'll attach. Number 4. A Modern Floating Countertop Idea the first step, lay out your design by drawing up a plan. Cut frame boards to size using 2x4s and a Craig pocket hole jig. Attach them together using pocket hole screws. Attach the frame to the wall and ensure to secure the back brace bar to the left support 2x4 before attaching the left arm brace. Cut and stain the countertop before installing it into the frame. Notch out a little bit of the door trim if necessary to ensure a perfect fit. And then attach a finishing board to the front using a nail gun. To alternate it, consider number three, the flip-up countertop idea. Similar to a floating countertop, but with the added ability to fold away when not in use. A top tip, a trusty pair of sturdy hinges, and a level will ensure smooth sailing throughout your project execution. Number 2. A Countertop to Breakfast Bar Conversion Idea to begin, mark the pegboard at 34 inches and hold the frame at the height while screwing it into place. Don't attach the left arm brace yet. First, secure the back brace bar to the left support 2x4. Use pocket hole screws to attach the left arm brace once the back brace is secured. Attach the left side of the frame to the 2x4s in the small, finished wall using 2-inch screws to provide extra support to the countertop. Number 1. The IKEA Kitchen Island Cart Hack Idea All right, let's flip the cart over and get started on the hinges. You'll want to attach them near either end of the cart and shelf with the final hinge going in the center. Ensure to attach left and right hinge supports to the outside of the cart legs and the bottom of the shelf. And don't forget to use some scrap wood to even out the height between the support and the shelf so everything is nice and level with the cart top.
Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.